So we've all have seen and heard of Twitch, right, boys? Let's not act like we don't know what the live streaming platform is. The uh, Max Brain Rock website, in my opinion, because at least with TikTok, you could find something maybe slightly educational on it. You could get like a decent algorithm where you actually, you know, learn something. There's nothing of substance on Twitch, all right, boys? There's legit nothing that is gonna benefit your life on Twitch. At least with TikTok, you can learn like a survival technique or something. But Twitch, you're just there to exist. And the only website that, you know, beats Twitch and Brain Rot is Kick. But, you know, they're both one of the same at this point. One, you get to go see people fight and fuck. The other, you get to go see softcore corn. And the CEO of Twitch, Dan Clancy, showed us that, um, he's the leader of the softcore corn movement on Twitch, all right? There is a reason why a lot of these hot tub streamers, is what we'll call them here, get away with, you know, showing their asshole literally on stream <laughs> just straight up spreading it getting maybe if they're unlucky a 72 hour ban for the most part they'll get like a slap on the wrist they might get banned for an hour or two and they can get as many of them as they want even though you know us gamers you know the people that actually made the website what it is the gamers if we say anything that's out of line we get perma banned a la dr disrespect but if you show a little bit of skin maybe a nip slip or two that's just fine, especially towards your underage audience because that's what most of Twitch is made up of because I refuse to believe that us regular adults, you know, chat, boys, comment section, me and you, we have other things to do, all right? We got homework for college. We got actual work. We don't have time to sit down and watch an actual seven to eight hour stream <laughs> just straight gooning over Amaranth or like some other... <laughs> Uh, hot tub streamer. I gotta, I gotta remember to call them by their professional name. But the CEO of Twitch, Dan Clancy, you know, he showed off that um, he's one of the adults. You know, one of the people that ain't got nothing else to do with their lives. Even though you know he's supposed to be running one of the biggest live streaming websites on earth right now. He is a certified gooner. Look at this clip of this man showing off his uh, <laughs> new features for the website. But for some reason, it seems like this new feature is only being used by one subsection of people that he's following. You want to explore clips? That's very nice. And now you have a clip speed. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, suppose you want to check out the stories to see what you missed yesterday. You click there. And now you're in your stories feed. Okay? Okay. That's very nice. Yeah. That's also... <laughs> you see how quickly he took his phone away? He's like, all right, this is not looking good. Um, uh, and the other guy's just like, yeah, man, don't, hey, that, that was nice. I, I, I'm i not saying I didn't enjoy looking at that section of the website. <laughs> the uh, family-friendly website, again, boys, because they had to get rid of gambling. Remember that? They had to start banning people for gambling on their websites and even, you know, crypto gambling. Things that are highly addictive, but, you know, showing their underage audience hey boys you can look at a <laughs> girls trying to thirst trap you into donating money to them and trying to get as many of those people that are donating money to them off of your website twitch because most of these girls that are doing these thirst traps in their stories are not trying to bring more people to twitch they're trying their best to get as many of them off of it because they have another website made just for fans only for them actually where they make exponentially more money the more people that actually sub to that website than to twitch as a person that you know actually enjoys twitch i've streamed up there i might start streaming up there again link to my twitch in the description below i would assume you would want as many people to come and stay on your website as possible but in Twitch's eyes, this is a beautiful symbiotic relationship, right? The uh, only girls that have fan accounts, they shovel anyone that's on Twitch to the fans website. And then Twitch, on the other hand, is allowing them to grow platforms where they're able to shovel more <laughs> of Twitch's audience off of their website onto another website. Because um, if you guys don't know, the fans website that these hot tub streamers use also has a live stream portion whenever you sub to them. So in my opinion, there's a better version of this section of Twitch that these girls are trying to shovel you to that they also live stream on in a uh, 
let's just say they don't wear bathing suits whenever they're on these websites, boys. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, you know, OnlyFans. If you enjoy doing it or if you enjoy watching it, cool. But I would assume the main part of this feature is to continue to keep people on the website, even though this feature is obviously being used <laughs> to get people off of the website. I would assume this right here should be the part where Dance Clancy is like, we should probably fix this to where thirst traps are no longer shown or are highly discouraged on this website because there's only one other place where this leads to, and trust me, these people aren't staying on Twitch. Now, in my humble opinion, all right, these women are just entrepreneurs at this point because you have a website like Twitch that absolutely caters to them, right? They can bend the rules at any point, break them at any point. If they know they need to get a clip out there, just show a little bit of skin, a nip slip, a, a booty cheek, maybe a, a pussy peek, and they know Twitter's gonna erupt with people saying she should get banned and she will get banned for like maybe an hour or two so Twitch can be like, see boys, we're taking your concerns into consideration, all right? As the person that broke the rules is able to come back an infinite amount of time and create as much buzz around her name just for flashing or, you know, fucking on stream. Someone did that before and she was able to come back and I'm pretty sure she tried to do it again. Maybe they permabanned her that time, I'm pretty sure. I'm not even gonna research it because I don't even care. But it just makes no sense how these people can do these things on purpose but then as soon as someone does something on accident it is like the biggest thing to twitch like someone saying like oh my god i fucking hate this thing in game and then someone can clip it and be like hey he missaid it and it sounded like he said the f slur and twitch takes action immediately banning them permanently and then people come out saying oh wait he just said fuck he didn't even say the whole f slur what are we what are we in outrage for and twitch is gonna be like well our hands are tied. We already banned them. And you guys remember whenever Twitch was trying to actually accommodate the hot tub streamers whenever they came out with the new rules saying that uh, you were allowed to do implied nudity. But as soon as all the men started doing applied nudity, like censoring their dicks while wearing like short shorts, that's whenever they got rid of the rule. Not whenever, you know, they were drawing literal <laughs> hentai on the website. No, as soon as men were like, if, you're, if they're gonna take advantage of this, I might as well take advantage of this. And they immediately, the next day, as soon as it became a trend for men to start, you know, censoring their junk with short shorts, that's whenever they actually took action and got rid of the rules. I'm assuming that Dan Clancy was in the middle of a goon session trying to find a nice stream to watch and then he saw Tectones <laughs> implied nudity stream and he was like oh my god oh my god what the hell we got to get rid of this <laughs> i'm gonna just go to the hub <laughs> that man probably turned twitch off that day he was like all right we got to get rid of this rule it just made me leave i just saw a man <laughs> that i thought was naked and that's when they had to get rid of the rule whenever dan clancy realized okay if the men can do it we can't have this rule it is weird i don't understand twitch like, if Dan Clancy wants to turn this into a cam website, just turn it into a cam website. Like, literally, you can just do that. They make a ton of money. If you want to do that, just do it. Stop doing this little tiptoe around the line. Like, ooh, we might still be a gaming website. But, oh, wait, the cam girls are coming over and they make a lot of money, too. Oh, wait, the gamers getting mad and they're leaving. Yo, come back, please, because it does nothing to help anyone. You're not helping the website. The website is still hemorrhaging money. And at some point, Amazon's gonna come knocking for that check that they spent on Twitch. And Twitch ain't gonna be able to cash it because they're not trying to cater to the gamers. And they're not really trying to cater all that much to the cam shows that they actually seem like they want to do, but they're not allowing. So we're just sitting here like in limbo. Like, is Twitch gonna be around for much longer? Or are they gonna just stick to their guns and be like, yo, you can start fucking on stream at this point. We just need people to start paying. <laughs> Twitch is so wishy-washy with their policies to where they might as well just be iDubs and Anissa Jamha. Because at this point, it's an abusive relationship. Because there's the actual fans of the website, and then there's the people that are parasitic trying to just siphon as much as they can from it. And it seems like Twitch and iDubs don't care. But boys, tell me in the comments down below. How do you guys feel about this new feature on Twitch? And also, click this video right here, boys. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.